What's up guys? It's your boy Pacey from the Merlin and Me YouTube channel. Got Vicky out today. We're gonna take Merlin for a ride. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the video that has been most requested on my channel since I started doing Merlin rides, and that's how I ride with my dog Merlin. So let's uh let's go ahead and get ourselves set up here. I got his goggles right here, which he'll need. First and most important thing, we gotta set up this camera. Can't have a Merlin ride without a Merlin to see. So here's what we're gonna do. And got this nice little ram ball on here. It makes it really easy to mount stuff. Get that on there. Try to get it as straight as possible so my angle's not crooked. I have to straighten up the handlebars a little bit. Kinda imagine Merlin on the tank. Do it. Let's turn that on. Try to get a good look in the screen. See what we can see. Okay, that looks about right. Angle it up just a little bit. All right. All right. So, camera is the most important thing. Second most important thing is the cover here because I don't want Merlin scratching up the tank and I want him to have some grip for his feet so he doesn't go sliding around everywhere and I keep that here in the garage right here all together this is what we use and this is essentially just a uh, like a bath mat that's been cut up to kind of fit the size and shape of a tank and a so we're gonna go ahead and slap that on there Pull it up a little bit where it's even. Don't have too much hanging off of either side. We got our see how it's flat. The hooks on there. Go from one side to the other on that bungee. And that's tight enough. He can't undo it. And then typically with this, I'll just tuck it in between the uh, tank and the seat here. And then we got our mat for Merlin step on. That's his grip mat. So Merlin's got grippiness. Go ahead and throw my stuff in here. A couple things you'll need when you do ride. You'll obviously need a leash. I've got one in here for Merlin. So he's covered. The other thing is this uh, leash splitter that I have attached to a harness on my chest. And these will clip onto the harness on his back and that's what he's secured to on the motorcycle. Which is a good thing. Gotta have your Merlin secure. I'll put my wallet in there too. Like that, like that. Okay. Next thing we need is a doggy. That popper in that flame. Yes, everyone likes my photo doggy. I'll show you how I get Merlin ready for rides. I'm coming, buddy. He is anxious. Gotta put on your... Gotta put on your Kawasaki, buddy. Gotta put on your Kawasaki. This should be that way. Which way will I be able to read it? This way. Okay, come here. Okay. All right, second thing is going to be his harness. We gotta get this harness on him. I gotta remember which way it goes on him. I wanna say it goes on this way. All right, Marilyn, step through, step through. I'm gonna put that foot down, step through this one, come on. There we go. No, nope. right through the middle. There we go, good boy. All right, now we got Marilyn nice and harnessed up. So now I can clip my harness to his harness and he's clipped to me. All right, Marilyn, hey. You ready to go for a ride? You ready to go for a ride, big guy? You ready to go for a ride? I think you got everything I need. Alright, let's go. Alright, we got a Merlin. We got a me. That's a Merlin and me type thing here. And we'll put that there. All right. 
This is the part he hates the most. It's the goggles. He does not like the goggles. Come here. Oh, one, two, three. All right. So then I put him up here on the tank. He'll stand there for a sec. While he's on the tank, it makes it a lot easier to get these goggles on, I'll tell you what. Let's get that out of your beard. Come here. Come here. I know. I know the Merlin doesn't like the goggles. But he's got to have goggles while we ride. Otherwise, he'll get stuffs in his eyes. Hey, look up. It's going to be a lot easier if you look up, buddy. Got to pull his big, bushy eyebrows out of the way. So he can see. There we go. Oh, we got your beard in there too, don't we? We gotta pull your beard out of there. It's okay, let me see this face. Alright. I got that eye good. I can see your eye through there. He's all good. He's all good. Alright. I will need to put my gloves on here in a second. I'll put them on now. And now it's time to go for a ride. I'll see you in a minute once I get mounted up. Good. Okie dokie, Merlin. You're going to have to scoot up just a little bit further, okay? Oh, here I come. What are you doing? Where's that foot? Alright, come on. Head up there. There we go, there we go, and then I just clip myself to him around here real quick, and we are essentially ready to go. We're going to let the bike warm up, and he's attached to me now, so he can't go nowhere. He's attached to me. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. He's such a good Merlin. Okay. Yeah. So that's how I ride with my dog, guys. It's as simple as a pad for him to stand on and a way to strap him to me, and he just sits on the tank, and we ride out. It's fun. It's a blast. It's great. I can't say a negative thing about it other than that's a little nerve-wracking sometimes. I typically prefer to do this when I have other people riding with me. My God, I'm so pale. Look at these arms. They're so pale. I ain't never been this pale in my life. Move my ass back to Florida. All right, buddy, here we go. We gonna go ride. Welcome back to the video. It's me and Merlin. We're out on the road today. We're gonna go grab us some lunch and uh, talk about what it's like to ride with a motorcycle riding doggy. How did that get all messed up? That's weird. Yeah. We have not, this is the first ride of the year for us, so I'm gonna take it kind of slow. Give him a chance to get reacclimated to the uh, motorcycle. Because it's been a while since he's ridden. He keeps sneezing. I feel his sneezes on me. Alright, we got a little turn, buddy. We're going to lean a little bit. We're going to lean a little bit. No, you lean the other way. There you go. He's leaning with me. You see that? I don't know if you guys can see that, but he leans with me. It's cute and adorable and awesome. All right, guys, so riding with a dog is, uh, it can be very nerve-wracking. I can tell you that uh, because I've done it quite a few times. It's very in-your-head type of thing. And the best way that I could describe the best way to ride a motorcycle with a dog is to ride it like you didn't have the dog on the tank or with you, whatever. Just ride it like he's not there. If you set yourself up properly, it's not going to matter what he does, you know? It's not going to matter what he does he's not going to throw you off balance or anything like that if you set him up properly and i definitely wouldn't do the tank ride with a bigger dog i would definitely stay with smaller dogs that's just the uh smart way to do it give yourself plenty of time try not to get yourself in crowds and you really won't have a, a reason to be nervous one of the biggest things that i have an issue with when i ride with merlin is uh, I can't see my turn signals or my gauges or anything because he's in the way. So you just kind of have to like know your bike. I mean, you don't want to start riding with your dog 
when you first start riding a motorcycle. That's not a smart idea. I would only recommend riding with your dog if you are a uh, seasoned rider with experience. Uh, definitely not for amateurs. Because you got to be able to adjust when he adjusts and things like that. So, you know, he's only 25 pounds, but he can totally manipulate the, uh, the motorcycle a little bit. And you just got to work around it, you know. And you got to be able to not move when he moves and you know counter move if you have to it is what it is a lot of times he'll just lay down on the tank especially when it's windy which he may do here in a little bit but he hasn't ridden in a long time i need you over here in the center buddy come on right here you just got to be diligent man when you're riding with a dog you got to be diligent what you're viewing traffic all right we got a bump buddy you got to watch where they're going you gotta watch for people pulling out in front of the people in front of you so you don't have to brake fast. I try to take it really easy on the engine braking and the braking and the acceleration with him on the tank. And shifting too, because if you shift abruptly it could throw off his balance. Alright, we got a big lean coming up, Merlin. We're gonna be leaning the other way. His drool's popping out of his mouth. Calm down. Calm down. You're okay. Sit down. Yeah, so riding with a dog on your tank is very, uh, it could be emotionally nerve wracking. It could be, it could wreck you in your mind if you're not prepared for it. The first time I took Merlin for a ride, I was very nervous. I, uh, I didn't like it. I was like, I'm never doing this again. But then I looked at the video and I saw his face and he's like, I love this shit. And I couldn't take it away from him. How can you take that away from him? He obviously loves the crap out of it. Look at his face. He's enjoying the shit out of himself right now. He's not doing what I want him to do, but, you know, dogs rarely do.